Today we're going to be looking at the Axe Kiryu model kit from Aoshima. As you can tell, this is a model kit of the MFS-3 Kiryu from Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. And I'm going to be transparent, this figure is a fucking nightmare to build and for that matter to hold. I had built this a while ago so I don't have the box, but I still do have the scars. The odd thing that makes this model stick out is that many of its important joints are covered in a distinct layer of rubber, specifically the neck and tail, which as you can imagine was the worst possible decision Aoshima could have made. The trouble I had joining pieces together on the tail and neck was probably the worst experience I've ever had building a model kit. I hated it. In fact the entirety of the figure asks a lot of you at times, almost to the point of absurdity. Prime examples, the neck. I had to join the neck joints together, encase them in a layer of rubber, and then encase that in a layer of very delicate plating that consistently never fully joins. The tail pieces, which the directions tell you to wrap in rubber for each segment, refused to connect without 20 minutes of breaking on themselves every time I wanted to actually snap them together, entirely due to the cutthroat nature of said rubber. The spikes? Fuck me, dog. They're small, hardly connect, and constantly fall off the back, which is why I actually had to glue it on. I know this is a model kit, but assembling what should essentially be a high grade shouldn't be so fucking frustrating. And the waist, it just refuses to stay on. It constantly, without fail, slips off its ball joint and dives headfirst into the fucking floor. Glue had to be added here too, and it still doesn't stay on all the time. All this makes the figure extremely frustrating to hold and maddening to pose. I never pose this guy, he's been in a total of 5 poses since I got him a year ago because the only way this guy works as a figure is in his detail, which is exactly what makes this guy somewhat worth it. I love the way he looks, he's really a spitting image of the character from the film. Everything is accounted for, the metallic plastic for the armor resembles the suit very well, and all the pipes and wires going through him are really well sculpted. Even the eyes have that very distinct light bulb-esque texture from the movie. It's pretty much an SH monster or scare you, you just have to build it yourself. In that aspect, the figure is actually pretty cool. The poses you can achieve are pretty okay, and quite frankly this is the main reason I bought the figure, having a fully articulated Kiryu figure that you can build. And although it drops a ball in the building aspect, I can appreciate the final product despite its undeniable flaws. Speaking of undeniable flaws, let's get into the accessories. It comes with a few extra pieces like extra eyes, arm blades, and another set of hands, plus these rocket boosters. They're kind of pointless. <laughs> Not to mention flimsy. The eyes are cool though. They're red just like when he goes berserk. If you want to count them, the arm cannons and shoulder cannons are removable so you can have just a plain Kiryu. But I won't do that seeing as the moment you take something off the figure, everything slowly starts falling to pieces. Speaking of falling to pieces, I'm going to be delicate with this thing because moving any part of its body is like a recipe for disaster. Everything is a ball joint. The head, jaws, and neck move smoothly. Same thing with the shoulders. Elbows, hands, waist. hips, knees, and a nice ankle pivot. The tail is super bendy, which is cool, but be very careful. Articulation is solid, quote unquote. Only thing holding it back being its refusal to stay together. Bro, you see his shit? In terms of size, he's odd. He's not a six incher, he's eight inches. He doesn't really go that well with other figures, but nonetheless, having a larger Kiryu on the shelf can be tolerable depending on the person. I will admit that it has some presence. This figure is an awful experience building and an awful experience holding. It can't stay together and the build process is unnecessarily complicated. I would buy the SH Monster Arts instead, but since it is much more expensive, I'd say getting this kit wouldn't be the worst idea because in all honesty, I don't regret building him. I wouldn't build him again, but I don't regret it. It all depends on how much tolerance you have for bullshit. Personally, I'm okay with having him around. He looks exactly how he did in the film and the posability is okay. He has a place in my heart. A deep, dark, claustrophobic crevice. But a place in my heart nonetheless. With all that said, I'll catch you guys next time. You okay? <laughs>